How you doing, everybody? Coach Young here. I'm going to be talking about some cover seven, which is a split safety coverage, and some match three. Okay. Um, so in cover seven, mod and mix. All right, that's what we'll talk about first, mod and mix. Your Sam or your star is your reroute player. Okay. Their job is to reroute two with their hands and keep their eyes on one. All right. If anything goes to the flats, one or two to the flats, they take the flats. Okay, if there's no flat threat, they sink five to seven yards. All right. Your inside linebackers will relate to the running back to their side. Okay. Your corner in mod, okay, is reading the release of one. If one releases outside, he's going to carry him in man. Okay, and if he releases inside, you'll have a double team on one from your strong safety and your corner. Okay, with inside release. Strong safety is reading two to one. If two eliminates himself right away, all right, his eyes are to one. Okay. So, for example, let's say one releases outside. All right, the corner's going to stay with him. All right, say two is vertical. The strong safety is going to pick up two. Okay. Now, while two's running vertical, the Sam should be getting his hands on two and rerouting two. All right, when we say rerouting two or rerouting the seam, we say the seam is three yards outside the hash. Okay, so you're gonna get that guy off that landmark of three yards outside the hash. Get him off that landmark. Okay, hands on two, actually physically rerouting him, eyes on one. Okay, now say two is vertical, okay, and one runs a hitch. All right, one runs a hitch or eliminates himself right away, which is five yards or less, right, going inside at five yards or less, the corner will zone off. When the corner zones off, he'll yell under, under, under. Under tells the Sam or the star, hey, you have one sitting in the flats, or you have one or two coming back across. Okay? And that means he has to play the top field shoulder, the upfield shoulder. All right? He's going to play the upfield shoulder and take it back in. All right, while rerouting two, strong safety takes two, and a corner can help double two on that vertical. Okay? He runs a nine cut, they play the vertical, they play the nine cut, two on one. Okay? All right, so that's mod. The backer matches or relates to the running back, okay? So say the running back is out of the back backfield immediately and he's vertical, the match is going to sink back, all right, and relate to the running back. Say the running back is out the backfield like this, the mic's going to relate to that running back, okay? In a situation where you have one, in two vertical with three out the backfield, okay? Your Sam or your star is gonna reroute two and play three in the flat from depth, okay? The mic is gonna attack three right away and the Sam's gonna play from depth. So that flat player should be played two on one, all right? Since the, mat, the mic or the inside linebacker is relating to the running back. Okay, so that's mod. All right, that's mod. Uh, in that switch look against mod, in the switch look against mod, say one runs a dig, okay, and one runs like a spot route or runs a sit, okay? Corner's going to carry, all right, and cut him loose as he crosses, and he's going to play the back end of the dig. Strong safety's going to play the front of the dig, really jumping in front of the face of the dig route, okay? Now, your Sam or Star, who's rerouting two, is going to play the new number one running that sit route. Okay, just like if he ran a hitch. All right, just like if he ran a hitch or two ran the out, all right, it's the same thing. He runs the sit route, breaking outside, he's rerouting two, there's no flat threat. All right, the Sam's gonna play one, uh, the new number one. Okay, say that two's out the backfield, or three's out the backfield, the mic's gonna relate to that. Okay, and if the ball's thrown to three in the flat, then the Sam will rally down outside. Okay, rally down outside. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so talk and mix. Talk and mix. Mix is something that we run to RPO teams. Teams that are heavy RPO. All right, essentially we're taking the same out of the pass pitcher. 
okay, we're bringing the Sam or the star into the run game, into the run fit. All right, so here's why we know we're running RPO, because you get mesh. You get mesh, the backfield action. All right, if it's straight drop back, no mesh, mix turns right back into mop. Okay, the, the star is the same as that first to flat player, right? Unless there's no flat player, then he sinks five to seven yards. Okay, so say it's mesh. Um, and we're in a 3-4 defense. In a 3-4 defense, all right, uh, for me, typically that end will occupy the B most of the time unless we stunt them or have them take a step technique to the C. So let's say that he takes the B, all right, and mix, all right, in a 3-4 defense, the Sam or the star will have C gap. In a situation where you have a five technique or a four, a five technique playing the C gap or a four step techniquing out to the C gap, all right, in mix, this Sam or star will have B. All right, it's like a natural twist stunt, natural twist, okay? That's the beauty about mix, all right? It's really getting the extra guy into that run fit, all right? Really making that natural stunt and really messing up the lineman's blocks, okay? So, he's in the run because the mix, because uh, the mesh, okay? Uh, yes, your inside backer still relates to it, all right? So, in this situation like this, Strong safety's reading two to one, all right? Corner's reading one to two, all right? Based on one's release, all right, he releases outside. Corner has all of one, still has all of one. If two is on the wheel, two runs it out, the, same, the strong safety comes out the, comes out the roof, we call it taking off the roof, all right, taking off the top. All right, he's not gonna be back here in the zone. He's gonna come out here and play two to the flat, all right, or yeah, two to the flat. Two on the wheel, two on the alley, he's playing two to the flat. Okay, now, here's where it gets a little tricky. All right, if one has an inside release, all right, we don't think he's gonna run a nine route if he has inside release. They do that, but not all the time, okay? So, your strong safety will pick up one, who turns into the new number two, and your corner will drive down on the new number one, who is two on the outbreaking route, okay? He turns this up into a wheel, Corner will just carry this wheel. Strong safety has two, all right? The new number two, if that makes sense. Like I said, no mesh. It's just drop back pass, relate, reroute, and then relate, okay? Okay, so anytime you're playing mix, all right, anytime you're playing mix and threes away, anytime you're playing mix and threes away, all right, that running back is away, he's gonna relate to this running back, of course. Okay, we still have our same reads here. Okay, he's gonna be playing the mesh, all right, but uh, three away, two is inside, then the Sam has to carry two inside if three is away. All right, three is away, don't worry about the mesh. Two's inside, carry two inside on his top shoulder. All right. Okay, um, so let's talk about, I mean, switch for mix is the same thing. All right, switch for mix is the same thing. Um, you're really just using the corner and the strong safety. All right, one goes inside, two's out. They're gonna switch, he's gonna take the new number two, he's gonna take the new number one. All right, that's really just relative to four. All right, so let's say we get trips. All right, say it's trips. Okay. Six by one. Our same is gonna be outside leverage of number two. Okay. Um, and here, we're gonna play something called stump. All right, you can play stump, stubby, clip, a whole bunch of different variations of trips out of cover seven. All right, but the thing that I like to teach first day, all right, for cover seven is stump. Three by one is stump, okay? Um, so for three by one stump, six by one, outside leverage is two, okay? Um, 
if you have a tight end attached to the line and trips and you're playing stump, you want your strong safety 10 by two outside leverage. All right, number three is detached. Whether it's a tight end or not, he's detached into the trips. Okay, you're gonna have him 10 by zero, head up on number three, all right? 10 yards off, head up on number three, okay? Um, so linebacker, same thing, still relate to the running back. All right, still relate to the running back. Okay, the SAM or the STARS rule is, all right, I have. Can I have an outage to the main offense, please? I have first to flat, unless one, two, and three are vertical. All right, first to flat, unless one, two, and three are vertical. Now he's outside leverage of two, so we can see three going in right away. Okay, and he knows if three's in right away, I'm sitting in the flats because three is not vertical. All right, three uh, in right away, strong safety's reading three to two, his eyes go to two right away. Three's inside right away, eyes go to two right away for the strong safety. Okay, corner's gonna take one, all right, deep. He's just gonna take one deep, all right, just like modern mix. All right. Uh, so, let's say, all right, let's say our running back's on this side. Okay, um, and you have a final four situation. All right, fourth rest to this one side of the field. Okay, so in a final four situation, you can get a push call. All right, make it a push call. All right, in this push call, all right, you're telling these two inside linebackers um, this play side backer has to post. He has to post three. All right, he has to post three. So let's say three ran vertical. All right, strong safety takes him. Two runs inside. Okay, and then this back is out, and one is vertical. All right, corner takes one vertical. Strong safety takes three vertical. All right, now the mic should be posting two or three coming inside. All right, you post that seven yards. And post just means to the to inside linebackers is that if he's underneath you, you're gonna take him across the field. All right, you're gonna post that seven. If he's over you at seven yards, you're just gonna cut him loose and you're gonna zone off, okay? Now, if three is going, if two is inside, three is vertical, and the fourth guy's out the backfield, final four situation, you're telling your mic this. We're exchanging rules. So typically, if the running back was to this side, he'd match up and relate to the running back. Since the running back's to his side, he's gonna relate to the running back. He's gonna post the new number three, which is number two coming inside. All right, so they just change responsibilities. He's gonna take three, uh, four out the backfield, four out the backfield. He's gonna take the new number three and post them, okay? And then of course, you still have this Sam or Star playing the flat. All right, playing the flat. Um, in any smash situation, all right, any smash situation, like we did two by two when we ran mod and mix, all right, we said it was an undercall. Okay, it's an undercall. Okay, our smash rule in three by one, we just call it straight smash. All right, smash, smash, smash. So, since the same as has his eyes on two and three, say one runs a hitch, okay, he eliminates himself right away, that corner's gonna zone off. He's still gonna zone off, okay? And if this corner sees three and two vertical, he thinks I have to carry two vertical until he hears smash. Once he hears smash, he goes, okay, either something's coming back underneath or someone's running a hitch, right? One is running a hitch right behind me. So he's gonna expand to the hitch. He hears smash, he expands to the hitch. All right, corner will take the, the most outside vertical route by two and three, obviously two, unless they switch. All right, and Sam will take the most inside vertical route by three and two, typically three, unless they switch. Okay, this back, inside back will still relate to three out the backfield. All right, he'll post, make a push call, relate to three, and he'll come and post, okay? Now, when three is vertical, that means he's over seven yards, all right? This backer just kind of sits here in this zone and plays a quarterback out the backfield, all right? He can play one running the hitch and trying to come back in, all right, and jump in front of this in-breaking route while the same is playing the top shoulder of it, if that makes sense, okay? If you have a smash concept, right here, smash, 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 or the three by one, all right, smash, 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 or the three by one, all right, and this Sam or star 
plays or expands to number one on the hitch, and he runs back inside, all right, the Sam or the Star is going to carry on the upfield shoulder, okay, and this poster, whether it's a Final Four situation or not, this original poster or new poster will play the face of the in-breaking route. He will jump the in-breaking route, okay? Backside, backside of stump, we call it cone, 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 all right? What cone is saying here is this, and here's where it gets really good, all right? Because a lot of people feel like you're susceptible right here in the scene, all right, with three running vertical and two running vertical, all right? What if, what if he runs a, a post, all right, and you have outside leverage? Okay, well, do this. If he releases outside, he's going to man him up all by himself. Corner man's up, and he outside release by number one, one-on-one. -on -one. All right, we're really telling him to take him to the sideline. I always tell my corners, he releases outside, press him right to the sideline, take him out the pitcher immediately. Immediately take him out the pitcher. Okay? Uh, if one releases inside, all right, cone, they're going to bracket this guy. Double team him. Two-on-one -on, -one on cone. All right? So... Uh, realistically, three is vertical, two is vertical, three ends up running the post, okay? One is gonna have this outside release. All right, so corner's gonna take him man on man, outside release. That leaves your free safety to poach backside. He's gonna poach backside, reading three to two, all right? Poach backside, playing three to two, helping this strong safety play the vertical by three, the post by three, dig by two, okay? Say three is vertical on a, on a, uh, on a seam route, all right, strong safety's gonna take that. Say two runs a dig, free safety poaches and jumps in the face of the dig, okay? So that's mod makes it stump. So let's talk to match three. Um, me personally, I'm biased. I love match three. I love match three. All right, that's my favorite. Match three is my favorite. Uh, you can have your corners playing man facing, skate, bail, any type of bail. It's just cover three. All right, match three is cover three, and we're matching up on the two uh, slots. All right, two slots. Okay, so match three, corner five yards off. All right, uh, obviously have your apex defender. All right, Sam and Will. All right, you got your Mike and Buck. Strong safety, 10 by two inside. Free safety, 10 by two inside to the catch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this. I say my Sam is my most athletic outside linebacker. All right, yes, you, you can do great with two versatile outside linebackers, but I say if I'm putting a Sam there, he's really a coverage outside linebacker, he's versatile. Okay, my free safety. Between my free safety and my strong safety, I think this is my best coverage safety. My strong safety is really a guy I think can come down helping to run. Yes, they both need to cover. Yes, they both need to tackle. But when I put guys in certain positions, I think if you're a free safety, you're very athletic. Okay, you play the ball really well. All right, so a lot of people think, okay, free safety and cover three should be the middle field safety. I would agree, yeah, 100%. If I play buzz three, that's probably how it would work because I want to buzz down my strong side backer, my strong side safety, right, my strong safety for the run, all right, and then play skip on two, but we're not playing skip in match three, right, it's man, it's man on these two inside receivers, okay, so what I want is, I want my, my Sam and my free safety to match up on the two slots, okay, I want my corners to get back in thirds, okay, and I want my strong safety to play middle third. All right. Now you said, Coach, he's the best. He's the best coverage guy. I'd rather have my best coverage guy man on man than have my not so great coverage guy play middle third safety because it's just getting depth and getting your eyes on routes. All right, play middle third. Okay. So here you have your inside backers have hook curl. All right, they have hook curl. All right, and then you have your extra backer right here to rush. Okay. So you can have a four man rush of a three four. Okay. Um, here we go. Now, when you have these rules in match three, all right, they're pretty straightforward, all right? The guys who are matching up on these two slots have rules, 
you carry all right you carry two vertical okay with inside leverage or with outside leverage sorry carry two vertical with outside leverage or you low shoulder the outbreaking round low shoulder the outbreaking round all right um, now if two goes inside immediately under five yards the, the two match players will get to the flats right away. Immediately to the flats. Okay, and you pass this inside, this immediate inside route to your hook curl players, which are your inside linebackers. Okay, say that one of these inside linebackers you put on a blitz. Okay, you blitz one of these guys. Cool. The backer away from the blitzing backer has to replace. Okay, push and replace. All right, and he'll be the new guy inside picking up this inside route by two. All right. Now, right, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty straightforward to me. That's pretty straightforward. All right, you have, these match guys have rules. You carry the verticals and outbreaking routes, all right? You cut the in-breaking route, all right? And you go to the flat right away. All right, pretty simple, okay? Now, in a trip situation, all right, here's what I love. Trip situation, all right, people see you matching up, all right, and they're like, okay, what are these guys gonna do? Say they motion in the trips. All right, when they come out in trips, all right, you want to play match three. Motion the trips, okay, we're going to rope it. We're going to rope it. All right, a lot of times when I have one high or any closed, any closed field coverage, all right, I like to rope. I like to rope it. All right, so that means this Sam, who is on number two, stays on two. All right, he's going to bump, stay on two, okay. This strong safety now will man up on three. And now my free safety who was manned up on two, he'll be the middle third safety. And my corners will get out in thirds. Okay, rules for the inside backs are the same. Hook, curl, hook, curl. All right, which you could do if you wanted to, you could have this mic post three, all right, and make it feel like some cover six uh, concepts underneath. All right, have him post three, and say if three goes underneath, he's gonna carry and pass, just like he wouldn't hook curl. And if he's high, pass it to the middle third safety. All right, but either way, he's getting out to the hook curl. Okay, so we should take away that immediate slant window. All right, the immediate end window. He should have a presence on any in-breaking route that's under seven yards. All right, under 10 yards, really 10 to seven yards. Okay, um, and that's how we play trips out of match three. All right, we just kind of rope it, bump it across. You don't need to physically move right away. You, got, you can have guys match up after the snap. All right, so after the snap, when the snap goes, you can have your strong safety here. All right, um, he can split. He can apex three and e mall, three and MN on the line. Okay, um, and then right when they snap the ball, depending on what number three does, they want to do something like a China concept. This guy's bang, and he's out. He's out. He's gonna take the out low shoulder. He's gonna take the out low shoulder. He's gonna play the front of this uh, post. He's gonna play behind the post, okay? And that's how we kind of siphon down on these posts by one in cover three, all right? The corner plays the back end. The middle third safety plays the front side of it, okay? Yeah. Uh, what you can also do out of match three, some coaches like doing this, is playing solo backside. You can play solo backside um, and really, I mean, that's gonna turn into a version of, of cover six in my eyes, okay? Because you're gonna sit here and solo this guy, he's gonna man up no matter what, um, and you're gonna have this guy really playing middle third safety, looking to the strength, all right, looking to the strength. And if you have two verticals and a shallow route, all right, you should have your match player coming up on that match route and have three over two on that vertical, all right? Something I really like about match three, it's the last thing I'll talk about, but I really like about match three is this. Okay. All right, here's what I like about uh, match three is this. A lot of times people talk about running cover three versus four deep. All right, you get, you get four verts, and they're like, you're giving up one of the seams, and you're giving up seams, you're giving up seams, all that stuff. All right, 
Here's the beauty of it. All right. He's going to match up on three. On two, sorry, he's going to match up on two. All right, he's middle third safety. So you get a vertical, a vertical, all right, and your Sam's going to carry, a vertical, and a vertical with your free safety carrier, all right? Outside leverage, outside leverage, okay? Now you have one, two, three, four, five defenders, three zone defenders and two man defenders mm -hmm. on four deep routes, on four deep routes, okay? And as your backers play hook curl, all right, and they say there's four verticals, they're gonna relate to the running back out, all right? They'll play it from depth when the ball is thrown to that flat player or the running back out on a flat route, whatever. Play from depth, all right, and rally when it's thrown. Okay, rally when it's thrown. But the beauty is you have five on four deep. Five on four deep. And it's the same thing if they go trips and they go four deep. You still have five on four deep. All right, so you always have uh, the numbers advantage if they want to go deep on you. All right, so in match three, you really thrive on uh, any with two or more deep threats, all right? Two or three deep routes, you thrive in match three, all right? Thank you for your time. That's all I got for you.